After more than four years of positive feedback, I finally got my first negative feedback. YouTube, Kurt Curtis, I'm a part-time eBay seller. I have a pretty big video for you guys this week. I have a lot going on. Um, I'm gonna show you every single item I sold on eBay this week. I also got my first negative feedback within four years. So I'm gonna go over that and what happened with that. Um, I also have a couple pin openings and I have some listing footage and more. So let's get right to it. This is everything I have going out on Monday. I have five orders going out. However, these are all smalls, all low cost items, but this stuff does add up quick. First up, sold a PS2 game, this 007 game, everything for nothing. This is complete and pre-owned, sold for $9.99. Next up, sold this E-Bombs World Beanie. You're old if you remember this. I got this at a thrift store a long time ago, finally sold for $9.99. I just thought it was cool, that's why I picked it up. Next up, sold this Xbox 360 game, Backyard Sports Rookie Rush. This is sealed. I paid $3 for that at a yard sale, ended up selling for $12.74. Sold the last light switch cover um, that I had. I got a bunch of these at a yard sale at one point, and I paid $0.25 cents a piece for them. And uh, they all sold off. This is the last one going out. This sold for $9.99. And last up, I sold this like set of three golf ball candles. Some guy gave this to me for free at a state sale. Uh, these also sold for $9.99. All right, this is everything I'm shipping out on Tuesday. I have seven items going out. I should be excited to have this many sales in one day. However, I'm very nervous with what's going on with the post office right now. I know for a fact none of this stuff is going to arrive before Christmas. I'd be surprised if any of this stuff arrives within a month, to be honest. Um... Yesterday, I was super close to just turning off my store for like a week or two just to, to ride out the storm, but I decided to leave it on and then it resulted in some sales. So um, it's out of my control. I'm just going to ship this stuff and hope for the best. Um, let me show you what I sold. First up, sold this band t-shirt, five seconds of summer, nothing crazy here, sold for $9.99. Next up, got this Backstreet Boys DVD. This is pre-owned. I paid, what I pay? 50 cents for this, sold for $15.99. So solid DVD sale there. Uh, next up, got this like word game, brand new sealed in the package. I think I got this in like a bulk thing, either at like an estate sale where I just had a pile or a yard sale or something, because I don't remember what I paid for it. But this thing ended up selling for $44.99. So really nice sale there. Next up, I sold this random little lot of like mechanical pencil lead. Um, I got these out of a free bin at like a church sale or something or a yard sale. So I just grabbed them. It took a long time to sell. Ended up selling for $9.99, but got it for free. Next up, sold a book, The Razor's Edge. This is an old vintage book. I just kind of picked it up just, just to give it a shot. Paid a dollar for it, finally sold for $9.99. Next up, sold this pair of winter boots. Um, I actually didn't even really want to pick these up, but the lady at the yard sale made me because she was only charging 50 cents for the boots, so I had to get them at that price. I don't know if this brand is even that good. It's Pacific Trail. These boots ended up selling for $33.99, so not too bad. Obviously, they're going to ship priority, but still, um, I basically got them for free, so decent sale there. And then last up, I sold this lot of this G.I. Joe playset parts. They're all in the bag. You can see the picture on the screen. I'm not going to take them out of the bag right now, but um, I listed a lot of parts individually, but some parts I couldn't really find the name of them and all that, so I kind of just made one lot with the leftover stuff, and this lot ended up selling for $39.99. This is everything I'm shipping out on Wednesday. I have six orders going out. Uh, first up, sold a DVD, uh, season two of That 70s Show. This is brand new sealed, paid a dollar for it, sold for $9.99. Next up, I sold one of these mask figures. This one had the helmet too. Uh, this little guy sold for $14.99, so solid sale here. Um, guys, with this action figure haul, um, after fees, after shipping, so we're talking a net number. I've already more than quadrupled my money, and um, I still have a ton of stuff listed, and I still have a ton of stuff to list. So that ended up being a really good pickup. Um, as you can see today, we'll get to the other items in a second, but three of my six orders today came from that haul. So that's doing really good so far. Next up, sold a PS2 game, another 007 game, Nightfire. This is pre-owned and ended up selling for $9.99. Next up, sold one of these mask uh, manual instruction booklet things. This one sold for $14.99, Thunderhawk. Next up, sold this Dungeons & Dragons DVD. This is brand new sealed. It has nine episodes. Paid 50 cents for this, sold for $9.99. And last up for the day, I sold this uh, He-Man, Master of the Universe, uh, Roton little vehicle thing. 
and uh, this thing ended up selling for $18.99. This is everything I'm shipping out on Thursday. I have four orders going out. First up, sold this Marmot jacket. This is like a lightweight winter jacket. Um, I paid $7.70 for this at a thrift store a while back. Finally sold for um, $27.49. And honestly, if this thing would have had a hood, I would have kept it for myself, but it didn't. I like a hood on my jacket, but either way, it's a really nice jacket. Next up, sold a DVD, Judy, uh, The Legend Behind the Rainbow. This is actually pre-owned. I paid uh, $2 for this, ended up selling for $21.24, so solid DVD sale here. Next up, got a video game going out. Got Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe for PS3. Paid $1.42 for this, sold for $10.49. And last up for the day, we got Amityville 2, The Possession. This is brand new sealed. I paid $1 for this, ended up selling for $16.99, so not too bad. I only have one thing I'm shipping out on Friday here. This is a Pink Panther DVD, brand new sealed. Paid a dollar for it, sold for $9.99. It is Saturday morning and I have five things to ship out today to end the week. First up, sold this Adidas Climb a Warm Beanie hat. Uh, this is new with tags. This ended up selling for $13.49. Next up, sold a DVD, Breakfast at Tiffany's. This is brand new sealed. This ended up selling for $9.99. Uh, here I sold this uh, bridge from some kind of like military playset thing. It wasn't G.I. Joe, but it was something similar. Either like Shaper or Shapper, Stomper, Mountain playset kind of thing. I don't know. Not really sure what this was from, but I was able to find it with a Google Lens. And the bridge actually had one of these little pieces chipped off and it's still sold and it sold for $37.99. So pretty solid sale there. That was obviously with the action figure haul I picked up. Next up, sold the other uh, vintage bowls ornament that I had. So pretty solid sale here. I believe I got this for 50 cents, ended up selling for $26.99. And then last up for the day and for the week, sold this little Dino Riders toy, ended up selling for $13.99. And the numbers for the week, this week I sold 28 items for a total gross sales of $485.22. All right, guys, so after more than four years of positive feedback, I finally got my first negative feedback. Um, this was for a Nintendo NES Game Genie. Uh, the feedback said, didn't work, waste of money, negative. I did not get any um, messages from the buyer to try to resolve the problem. Didn't want to open a return or anything, just straight to that. So I messaged them uh, saying they could have uh, reached out to me and um, I could have resolved the problem and all that. Normally in a case like this, I would just refund the person unless I thought they were lying. And um, then I would make them return it. But most cases, if it seems legit, I'll just refund them. It happens. But I very specifically remember testing this thing, and it did work. But maybe it just, their NES didn't take it the same, or I don't know. Possible it got damaged during shipping, but I doubt it. I packed that thing pretty good, bubble wrapped and everything. Um, but yeah, so I had a 1,073 positive feedback streak that finally came to an end after four years but even after all my positive feedback, that one negative just got me to 99.8%. Um, this kind of sucks, but I knew it would happen eventually. I really wish the person just would have messaged me. I just would have refunded them. Um, I'll see how they respond. I think I can. I might be able to get it removed um, through eBay or uh, eBay Business on Facebook or something like that. Because they didn't, they didn't um, even attempt to return it or anything like that. So, um, like if they return it and I accept the return, like they, they can't really give you a negative. Like they try to return it and I refuse it. Then, um, I understand the negative could stay, but as long as I'm offering them an option to get their money back, like, I don't think, uh, I think I might be able to get that negative removed. However, it's going to be very hard to contact eBay during this time. I haven't had to contact them for a while and, um, I know it's difficult right now. So we'll see how this goes. This, uh, this kind of sucks. It is time for me to list today. Um, I have a bunch of stuff laid out here. I actually did some research yesterday on all this stuff, so I don't have to do any of that today. I have everything ready to go. I just need to photograph it and list it. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to all this today, but I'm gonna try and whatever I don't get to today, I'll list tomorrow. Also, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna make these listings active. I might just save them as drafts. Um, it's still at a point where people might think they're gonna get this stuff for Christmas and they're not. Um, sometimes stuff sells right away, so I might just put them on drafts and then list them in a few days. Not sure, haven't decided yet, but um, I'll figure that out later. Um, yeah, so first up, I'm going to list another one of these Hot Wheels. This is a red Mustang. 
Um, I always make sure to list these right away because I sold one of these last week and I don't want to forget that I need to list another one. So I have this one ready to go to relist that. I use the same listing. I just put new pictures with this packaging. And the other Hot Wheel um, I sold last week, I didn't have another, another uh, copy of. So just got to get this one up. Then I had a little bag of GoBot stuff. Um, this is like a robot here. I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand, but this thing actually transforms into like a cap gun and you can actually put caps in it. So this thing's pretty cool and it looks to be complete. So not too bad. I also have some parts here. So I had this little GoBots like playset thing here, but it was missing pieces. It had broken pieces. The battery compartment had corrosion. So it was just in real bad shape. So I tried to salvage some pieces off. So I got like some random pieces here. I don't even know if I'm gonna list all these, but I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can just get something for the parts. And I'm probably just gonna toss the uh, the little playset thing. This thing wasn't that valuable anyway, even if you had it complete, but it's not even close to complete and it's not even working. So yeah. Also there was this little transformer toy in the GoBots thing. Um, I was gonna wait until I do, did the transformers to get to this one, but I looked it up, it's complete. So I'll post this thing up. Also have this little uh, little box of these like Olympic Holiday Inn figures. There's a bunch of these listed on eBay, but there's no solds in the last 90 days. So that might be a hard sell, but since I have it, I'm going to list it. And also I found two more of these um, Insiders Micro Machines. These are the little cars that go inside um, the Insiders. And these things actually have value. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure out what these ones are called. I might just put up a little lot, but like... These two tiny little cars are going to sell. That's crazy. And then um, I got to the Micro Machines stuff. So I listed all the Micro Machines cars a while back because that's like the easy part of it. But I had this backpack here. And there's still pieces, just full of pieces. And I was kind of dreading having to deal with this. But I just dumped the bag out and kind of just took it one thing at a time. I figured out what this was, the service station thing. And I just looked up what pieces went to it. And I just looked in the pile to see what pieces I had, put it together. Also did the same with this. This one right here. This airport. And then um, I had all these little like platform things. And I figured out that these things are called um, like travel, travel cities, I think. So there's a name for each of these. Like here we have a hospital, car wash, a fish and chips little station. This is a motel, a suburban house, and this one's called Bridge. So these little travel cities. So I just got the base, figured out what it was called, and then put all the pieces to it that I had. And some of these are complete, some of them are not. But um, I don't think these are too valuable here, but people will definitely want them. So I did that. And by the time I did that, put all the pieces to these and these, that was most of the bag. I have this little thing here. This opens up. Um, it's not complete, though. I'll list this. And then I do still have a few random things in here that just might not even be worth listing or I'm just going to get to them later. But yeah, so most of the micro machine stuff will be done then once I finish this. So that's nice. But yeah, I'm going to photograph this stuff and um, see how much I can get listed. So update on the negative feedback. Um, I basically messaged the buyer uh, offering them a refund for returning the item. Uh, if they would have messaged me just politely and told me the item didn't work, I would have just refunded them without them having to return it. But since they didn't even reach out and just uh, gave me the negative feedback, um, I have no problem giving them a refund, but I'm going to make them return it just because that's how they went about it. And uh, they basically replied with um, they weren't worried about a refund or returning it, and they said they threw the item away. So this person obviously doesn't even want a refund. Um, the good news is I get to keep the money. But the bad news is I got the negative feedback. I'd rather not have the money and not have the negative feedback than have the money with the feedback. This order was only, let me see here. I think it was, yeah, it was a $17.99 item. So not that expensive of an item. But yeah, I'm still gonna contact eBay and see if I can do anything about it. Um, I might be able to get it removed, I might not, but it's definitely worth a try. I doubt I'll have results for that anytime soon. Um, with everything that's going on right now. But when I do finally get results from that, probably won't be in this video, I'll let you guys know. So I finally got around to ordering one of these like screwdriver sets for opening up video games and like repairing them and stuff. So um, this thing was super cheap. I got it off eBay, I think for like seven or eight bucks shipped. 
Uh, I just hadn't gotten around to ordering it, but this will come in handy, probably for other things too. So from that big uh, NES buy I did, when testing the games, all these games didn't work. And then I went to clean games, uh, just with a Q-tip and stuff. And then after cleaning them, some games work, but these ones still didn't work after cleaning them. So I'm going to go through and uh, actually open these games up and then try giving them a better cleaning. Um, I don't really remember the value of these games. Like the Turtles one should be good. I've got Super Mario 3. So there's some decent games, a lot of junk ones too. But um, one of these days I'm going to open all these up and clean them for real. And then see if that uh, helps them, if that gets them to work. Also, I had a couple games that uh, they, they should work, but there's like something loose in there. You can kind of hear it. There's something shaking in there. So I don't really want to sell a game like that where there's like a piece shaking or I don't know. So I'm going to investigate those as well. Same with these Sega games. I picked up some Sega games from an estate sale a long time ago. I got this, the Immortal game, and then also uh, Shinobi 3. So these are decent games. I tested these Sega games and they work completely fine, but same problem. There's something shaking in there and I don't want to like, even though the game works, I don't want to sell it like that. So I'm going to open it up and investigate and see what's going on. I'm not going to get to doing this project for a while, but it is something that I eventually will do. And it doesn't hurt to have this tool to do that. So the final update about the negative feedback. Um, I couldn't find a way to actually talk to someone on eBay. Like uh, the number just wouldn't bring me to a live person, which I figured... I heard that was happening with this whole COVID thing. Uh, but I did find a way to uh, like appeal a negative feedback just uh, just online. And so I sent that, uh, I explained what happened and to my surprise, they actually responded pretty quickly within a few hours, but um, uh, they denied the appeal and the feedback stands and I can't do anything about it at this point. So I just, I'm stuck with the negative feedback. Um, if you don't know how it works though, your feedback percentage is only uh, for the last year. So if I can go another year without getting another negative, I'll be back up to 100%, which it will be really good. So hopefully that'll happen. It's not like a permanent thing. I, it is possible for me to get, to get back to 100%. But um, even, even with the one negative feedback, that long of a run without getting one is pretty good. So um, I don't know. It is what it is. It's just going to be like that. I have two pin openings today. These two right here. These should be pretty interesting. So I'm going to save the better one for last. The first one, this was like a pre-order kind of one. So I missed out on the blind bag to get the low LE. So this was on sale for a certain amount of time and anyone could order it. And then that was the end of that. After that, it wasn't available. So I got the, the OG uh, pin. So there is a possibility though to get the gift variant. As far as I know, the LE for the OG one is 700. So if that's what I end up getting. It's probably not going to have that much value. Maybe over time it will, or maybe it'll be... Maybe people will be willing to pay um, just the regular price for it. But there is a possibility of a gift variant. Gift variant, So still a chance to get something good. And if not, it's a really cool looking pin. I might actually keep it if it doesn't have value. Um, so let's see here. Oh, wow, this thing is huge. Yeah, this is the, the, the OG... It's LEs of 700, so there's 700 of this color. But like, look at this pin. That thing is crazy looking. I kind of forgot about uh, this pin drop, so I missed the opportunity to grab a blind bag for the lower LEs, but I still wanted to get this. Uh, like I said, there's 700 of these, so odds are this thing isn't worth that much, but maybe over time, because if someone couldn't buy it that day, then they can't get it. But um, yeah, I might end up keeping this, we'll see. This is a really cool looking pin, it's huge. So yeah, that is that. And now we'll get on to the next one. This was from a long time ago. These pre-order ones take a long time to show up because they need to know how many they're gonna make. So this next one is like a dragon. This one's very interesting. There's lots of possibilities here. There's an LE-125. There's four different LE-85s. There's an LE-50. There's three different LE-25s and three different LE-10s. So there's a total of 620 pins of this, but this thing sold out super quick. Like I was lucky to get it. Usually with the pins, there's like somewhere between two and 300 pins and they sell out fast. This one had 620 and it was just gone within seconds. So 
even if I get the most common one, I think there's going to be a little value here. Anything above the 125 is just going to be awesome. Either way, I can't really complain too much. Just to get one of these in the first place was really lucky. So uh, this one I probably won't keep, but um, yeah, we'll see. Let's see here. What is this? Oh man, I think it's the most common one. Is it? Oh no, 85. This is an LE, one of the LE 85s. Look at this thing. Yeah, there's all kinds of different colorways on this. This is a pretty cool pin too. But LE, this is one of the LE 85s. So not the most common one, but the next one up. This is solid. This is a solid pull in my opinion. This one's cool looking too. I did actually go to one estate sale this week as well, and I found a, a bunch of good stuff video game related, but I'm going to have a separate video for that, so that'll be posted in a couple days, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for this week. The link to my eBay store is in the video description. Until next time. I'm sweeping and packing these dividends I keep stacking to the roof. I'm out of room. I'm gonna have to get a bigger broom